With this tour, we're focusing on architecture and writers. Truman Capote, we're going to see where he wrote In Cold Blood. We're going to see where Arthur Miller wrote The Crucible. Carson McCullers, uh, W.H. Auden, great poet. Brooklyn Heights has a handful of really beautiful churches. This building is actually on the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, one reason is because it's got the first set of American-made stained glass windows of any church in the country. This church is actually the second version of First Presbyterian Church. The first one was really the first church in Brooklyn Heights. So this site here is actually the old site of the Presbyterian Church, but in the 1840s, uh, the Congregationalists built this church, and they built it specifically for a certain preaching style, the style of Henry Ward Beecher. The interior of this church is actually really beautiful and well-preserved, uh, just like it was about 150 years ago. Very large, with a big second-floor balcony. All kinds of famous people were stopping by here in the mid-1800s. Uh, some to see Henry preach, others to meet his sister, Harriet Beecher Stowe, who was the great author of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Other abolitionists came, like Abe Lincoln in 1860, Fugitive slaves actually stayed here quite often in the basement and earned it the nickname Grand Central of the Underground Railroad. In the decades around the Civil War, Plymouth Church was actually getting thousands of people every Sunday to come hear Henry Ward Beecher preach. Henry would actually hold mock slave auctions inside this church from the pulpit. Uh, the most famous in 1860 when he auctioned off the nine-year-old girl he called Pinky. Uh, he had the thousands in the audience going crazy uh, to buy her her freedom. And when he passed around in the basket, people were ripping off jewelry and emptying their wallets. Uh, when he got the basket back up on the pulpit and he presented the ring to her and said, with this ring, I wedge you to freedom and he put it on her finger. And then probably the crowd went wild. Um, I'm gonna end the tour in front of Borough Hall uh, in this large plaza, not with a quote by Robert Moses who designed the space in the mid-1900s, but by someone who really defined the neighborhood, I think much better about 100 years earlier, Walt Whitman. Indeed, it is doubtful that there is a city in the world with a better situation for beauty or for utilitarian purposes.